Hi, my name is Chin Ho King, and I'm a Senior Solutions Engineer for ArcGIS Indoors at ESRI. In this ArcGIS Indoors demonstration, we will be looking at configuring Office Hotel capability through Indoor Space Planner and an Indoor Viewer app in ArcGIS Online Cloud. Office hotels are spaces or areas that workers can schedule for temporary use for a few days or weeks. As an alternative to permanently assigned spaces, this approach allows an organization to manage space and reduce cost as a result efficiently. One can book office hotels through Indoor Viewer or Indoor's mobile apps, and reservations are managed through a reservations layer in the ArcGIS Indoor's information model or through Microsoft 365. This demonstration will focus on using Microsoft 365. To have hotel capability running across the Indoors Viewer, Indoors Space Planner, and a mobile map, all three apps must pull the data from the same source. This requires a detailed planning. One will have to set Indoors data schemas and populated values based on Indoors GeoDatabase. It will also require setting resource mailboxes in Microsoft 365 for each space that can be reserved along with Microsoft Azure Portal application ID. Lastly, it will require knowledge on publishing two web maps and mobile map package from a same source feature layers in ArcGIS Online Cloud. For detailed information on configuring indoor map and publishing indoors viewer and space planner, please look for other indoors YouTube video series. This demonstration will emphasize how to stage hotel configuration through ArcGIS Online that can be managed and viewed from Indoors Viewer, Space Planner, and in mobile apps. For the first step, open the ArcGIS Pro's project file that is configured for the Indoor Viewer web map. Go to the Units Layers attribute table and verify that it includes the assignment type and a scheduled email attribute fields. Each office space feature record should be populated with a designated resource email and the assignment type needs to be defined. For the second step, verify that the map has a people or occupants point feature layer generated from the space planner map. This occupant layer should have information on each office space's occupant's contact information and also configured as floor aware layer. The map should include the standalone areas table which was also created from the Space Planner web map. The Areas table provides data model support for the Indoor Space Planner app, including Hotel and Hot Desk. Also, verify that the Indoors Config standalone table is part of the map. The table describes various settings required to be configured for the successful use of the Indoors web and mobile apps. Once all the feature layers are loaded and configured, Turn off the floor over widget and publish the project map as a web map to ArcGIS Online. Populate the name, summary, and tags and set the configuration to editable and then publish. Once the web map is published, go to ArcGIS Online contents and look for the published hosted feature layer for the indoor web map. Verify all the feature layers or tables are there and go to the Settings tab. Verify all editing boxes are checked and also the export data is allowed. Go back to the contents and open the web map that was published from ArcGIS Pro. This web map will be used for the Indoors Viewer app. So we need to create a second map configured for the Space Planner. Go to the Save and Open menu. Click Save As and create a new map that you can recognize as the Space Planner web map. Once the new web map is saved, apply the visual and rendering concepts that were demonstrated in the Space Planner configuration session. First, the unit layer symbology should be changed to display the assignment type of the feature, which should show the floor spaces based on assigned office space available open spaces, and so on. Also, the people layers label can be turned on to display all the occupants' names of the office space. 
I have custom created the name to appear in two lines for labeling using first name and last name attribute fields. I also tweak the display style and also set the visible range. I configured the label to display each unit's name for the units layer, but filtered it to only show unit spaces that are not on office. This allows the occupied with staff members labeled throughout the people layer. I also customized the label style and set its visible range. Once the configuration is complete, save the web map again and close for now. Back in ArcGIS Pro, create a new map, copy all features layers from the indoor web map project, and configure them as a floor or a map. Select the data source tab from the contents pane, and you'll see that the feature layers are pulling the data source from the local file database. The layers and table of sources need to be rerouted to the newly published feature layer in ArcGIS Online. We'll start from the people layer. Right-click the layer and go to the properties. From the source tab, click set data source and go to the My Organization under portal. Find the published hosted feature layer from the file list and double-click to see the list of point feature layers. Select the people hosted feature layer and click OK. You will notice that the data source is now pulling from the ArcGIS Online URL. Click OK to close the Properties tab. You have to manually set points of interest and units layer sources to pull from the ArcGIS Online hosted feature layer, including the areas table. Details, levels, and facilities layer sources do not need to be changed. Once the data source changes are complete, go to the Share tab and start the Mobile Map Package tool. As for the setting, this will be packaged and uploaded to ArcGIS Online account. Provide proper name, summary, and tags. The tag must include ArcGIS Indoors to be recognized in the mobile app. Set the extent based on the data's geographic extent and add a check next to the reference online content. As many layers are referenced to online hosted feature layers. Analyze to see any issues, and when everything looks good, click the packaging process. Create the Indoor Space Planner app from the web map configured for the space planning symbology for final preparation. From the Space Planner app menu, click Hotels, and click Add to Create Hotel Area. Provide the name of the hotel that you'd like to use and click Add. Move to the floor level and location space where you'd like to assign reserved spots for the hotel. Using the Map Selection widget, select the spots where you'd like to assign them as a hotel area. Click Assign to and select Hotel, which will list all the hotels. From the list, select the hotel where the space will be assigned to and click Assign. In addition, people need to be assigned to the hotel to use the capability. I have un unassigned myself from the office queue for demonstration purposes and listed myself under the hotel. Once you have all the lists of the people for the hotel, go back to the Options menu and use Merge to update the changes I made to feature layers and table. Now the hotel creation and assignment are made. Let's check the changes from the mobile app. Here in my iPhone, I already installed and logged into Esri Campus Map through ArcGIS Indoors. I set my check-in and check-out time from the Hotel Book tab. I can verify that the hotel I created is available inside the booking list. Because I have removed myself from the office cube and added it into the hotel list, now I can reserve one of those spaces with a specific date and time. Back in ArcGIS Indoors Viewer, which was created based on the first web map publication, you can see that I have enabled the workspace reservation with Microsoft 365 and added the Microsoft Azure Portal application ID. 
Office 365 enables the hotel capability with an indoors viewer. And the hotel requirement pop-up also displays the hotel that I have created and designated to. This completes the demonstration of how to set up indoor space planner and mobile maps with the hosted feature layer data source in ArcGIS Online and configure and use a hotel booking system. Please look for other YouTube videos on the indoor web map and indoor space planner web map that details the data schema configuration in ArcGIS Pro for more information. Thank you for watching.